Hello guys, Eric Laviolette, head judge coordinator for the UNAA finals. Uh, so I'm going to introduce you to Chase that's going to explain to you uh, the course for the 40 plus division and the 16 to 39 uh, division. He's from Ultimate Ninja Obstacle Gym. So they're the ones who has put this course together. So let's go to Chase for the rules. All right. Hey guys, so we're going to go through the course here. For the start of the course, you're going to start on the platform. This one is going to be platform to platform on the ropes. Go ahead. You so, can go down. You do not need to use every rope however you need to. This is just a platform to platform obstacle. Once you land on that red platform, that is your point. So you have to be careful. You start on the box, no trussing. You can use your feet as well landing on the red and after that once you land on the red you can step down you can step anywhere except for the red pad to get up you cannot step on the red pad so you go up the rope to the cliffhanger can you step on the black pad no you cannot okay. step on the black Any so only pads, concrete and blue pad yes then you go up make Again. your way across the cliffhanger you do not need to use all the holds, but if you need to, you can. Your first point will be once you reach the first hole, then you make your way down. Your second point will be once you lache to land on the box. That'll be your second point. On this one, your first point will be when you hit the pole. If you just tap the pole with your hand, that is your first point. You cannot kick it for your first point. You have to tap it. So if you grab and fall, that is one point. Your second point will be landing on the platform. And the first points throughout the course are identified by white tape. After that, you come down this way. Then you do the PVC roller, these precision bars. You start behind the line, you roll all the way down. You step. Once you step onto the second pole, that is your first point. Rolling on the PVC. He's gonna roll the PVC all the way down past the white piece of tape. Clear. Once you hear the word clear, you can step off. Has to go past the white piece of tape. So you have to wait until the judge clears you to make sure you're past the line. And for the first point, again, here it's just touching. Once your foot touches, that is okay. So if you land and go, that is a first point. You can only use the bars, you cannot use the wood supports. And have to go through the first bar so nobody jumps and for safety reasons. And the, the starting point here with the pipe is when the athlete has his two feet on the pipe, Chase? Yes. So basically it starts when you have both your feet on yes. the pipe. So if you fall backwards after that, you lose the point. Yep. All right, for the next one, this is a two point obstacle. The first point will be once you reach that third bar with a white piece of tape, similar to the others, if you tap it and fall, that will be your first point. So you make it however you need. You do not need to use all the bars, but you go across. This is a platform to platform obstacle. And again, you cannot use the trussing. Here, first point. And that is point number two. So again, just touching the bar with the white tape. And then if you fall, you still have your first point. Right, for the next obstacle, this is a platform to platform. And this is a one point obstacle. You can use them however you need. This is a hands only obstacle. You cannot use your feet to kick any of the grips. This is a hands only. So he's gonna make his way across. Landing on the platform. And just to be precise here, like only red is allowed here. Here, outside handles and the holes in the middle. Obviously, top is not allowed. This one, obviously, the whole thing, red, is allowed. And then you landing. dismount, landing there. And again, trussing is not allowed. And for the next obstacle, this is a two-point obstacle. So it is going to be mushroom steps. He's going to step on down. 
all the way across. You have These are on plate. springs. Once you land on the platform, once you have both feet on this blue platform, that is your first point. Your second point will be three full flips. It has to be a forward flipping motion, so he's going to do three flips. One, two, three. Three. Once you hear three, you can go. You do not need to jump directly. If you need to step down, you can do that. Three flips is the key. You will hear the word clear once you do three flips. So here, so we're clear, you have to have both feet not the body, like if you're laying flat, you have both feet on it to be considered as completed for the point. And then once you hear that the tree flips are done, you can actually go down on the gray and then go on the start platform here that is allowed or go directly. Yeah. And then on this next one, in this obstacle, this is a platform to platform obstacle. You can use the ropes if you need, or you can go directly across. He's going to use the ropes for the demo. Make your way across. Once you land on that platform, that is your point. Then yes. this next obstacle is another one point obstacle. It is a flying squirrel. Once you go from there, your landing platform is the red platform. That is your point for the flying squirrel. On the next obstacle, your crab flies will be hanging up there. You can jump up to grab them. Your hands need to be on the black. Make your way across. Then you are going to transfer the crab claws to the other bar. Make your way across. Your first point will be once your hand touches the salmon ladder bar, that'll be one point. Then you make your way down. There, you lache to the red box. That is your point. On this one, similar to the others, like the lache bars, if you reach and just tap it, that will be your first point. You don't need to show any type of a controlled grab or anything. If you go from the ring and just tap it, you get your point. And there's going to be, again, a white tape on that bar to end it, yes. identify the first and point. And you do not need to use any amount of rungs or any specific rungs you can lache to the box at any point that you feel comfortable you do not need to go specifically down the number of rungs then for so here just to be clear the trussing cannot be used you have to actually physically jump to the canes and only the black handle is allowed if you go over we're gonna give you a warning and then on the second time it's gonna be a fail Balance pods. In this obstacle, this is a platform to platform obstacle. You have four pods. Use them in any way you need. You can use your hands and your feet to make your way down. You can reuse them. So you can turn back if you need. If you touch the ground, that is a fail. Once you go up, that is your point. So here, like we were discussing, you can stay on that box as long as you want, but the minute you're last feet leaves the box if you go back to the box it's over go up. And on this obstacle this is the pole vault obstacle in this one you make your way this is a platform to platform so you go to the bar use your momentum to carry down the bar make your way up to the monkey bar all the way down land on the platform on this obstacle you do not need to use the ring if you do not want to but it is there as an option you do not have to grab the ring then you move on to the next obstacle z grip lane is a two point obstacle so he's going to go ahead and start once you make your way to the blue cannonball with a white piece of tape that will be one point just touching it gets you the point with your hand. And then you make your way down. Landing on the platform is your second point. Again, all the platforms, the landing platforms are precision landing. So if you're not in control and you fall forward or backwards, you're gonna lose the according points. 
Then you go from there, rope climb, up to the bell. Ring the bell, that is your point. And For then, safety purposes, make sure you climb at least halfway down the rope before you drop. We don't want anybody hurting themselves going down from the rope. All right, that is our UNAA finals course. Hope you guys have fun. Yep, thank you guys.